All right, so the patch for EA Sports UFC 5, the very first patch just got dropped. Uh, it got released today. And we're going to go through the patch notes and see what they've done. And then later on, we'll you know test out the game and see if uh, this is actually going to have an effect on the way the game plays. Because, you know, a lot of times when these patches come out, you never really know how it's going to actually affect gameplay. And, and that's, that's the main thing we're looking for. So um, right there, they say, hey, UFC fans, we have a number of gameplay updates arriving for UFC today. And wanted to give you a heads up for what to expect next time you're in the octagon. Uh, the first thing they talk about right here is increased the long-term stamina cost of strikes in the stand-up. So this is long-term, not short-term, right? Like there was a lot of complaints from people um, that when you're fighting someone that's throwing a lot of barrage of strike is strikes that they're not losing as much long-term stamina as they should lose. And that is a valid complaint. And right there, they're saying they fixed it. Again, how far does this change actually affect gameplay? Yet to be seen. It's going to require a lot more people to play the game, test it out, and then we'll see if it needs to be buffed a bit more or maybe if they've gone overboard with it because that's also a possibility. Number two, uh, they fixed an issue that applied too much vulnerability on the return from Swayze. Yeah, so this was causing, uh, this was pretty much a bug. Um, which spiked vulnerability on the return. And we saw this in my career mode a few times where the opponent will sway to the side, you throw a hook, and then as they're returning their head back to the center the, and you make contact with their head, it makes the vulnerability go way high and fighters were getting knocked out. And it happened a few times online while I was playing too. Um, if it wasn't a bug, right? It, would, it might actually feel good, but it's clearly a bug, and it's not intended. So right there, uh, they said there will now be a lot less vulnerability, even significantly less than in UFC 4, which was our intent, intent along with the sway buffs at launch. This is what I was saying in a deep dive when I told you guys that they've reduced the vulnerability on head movement, and you know some people were saying that's not the case. when we And again, just bugs... The bugs, the bugs that the game launched with a lot of those bugs, I did not experience it when I when I was testing the game, um, and so a lot of a lot of these bugs were like a major surprise to me. I'm like, what the hell is going on right here? But now that that's been fixed, the vulnerability um, changes that they've made to to head movement in UFC Five is gonna shine now. As you guys see, it is significantly less than in UFC Four, just like I explained in my deep dive. Um, right there, they say they fixed an inconsistency between the different types of jabs and straights. So the jabs and the straights, um, or the jabs specifically, got a nerf. The speed of the forward-moving jab was nerfed to try to reduce how much it facilitates um, pressure fighting. They wanted to nerf that a little bit. But the snap jab still had the same properties as before, before that nerf happened. And so fighters with the snap jabs, guys like Ilya Tuporia or guys like um, Nate Diaz, those guys, their jabs still maintained the same, I guess, overpowered nature. But now they've they've gone in and they fist out. They said the regular version or skin had received some nerfs at launch, but these hadn't been applied to the alternate versions. All versions now have the same proper nerfs. So um, that's good. That's good. Um, this is definitely going to you will you will notice a difference in between when it comes to the effectiveness of the jab against the block. You'll definitely no notice a difference uh, with that. Um, it said. Removed the stamina drain applied to the submissive fighter in the headlock standing guillotine clinch position. Now, what this is talking about is um, this is, again, something that existed in UFC 4 where a player would get you in the headlock, essentially a standing guillotine. Then they'll walk around in a circle until the submissive fighter, the fighter that has been caught in the guillotine, um, loses all of their short-term stamina. Then they jump guillotine. And with the way the submission system works in UFC 5, if you have no stamina and the opponent jumps the guillotine, it's a freaking submission. You can't escape. So that was a huge, huge, huge issue. Um, they had a big oversight on that, but they went in and they corrected that, which is pretty good. Um, the dominant fighter still has their stamina drained. 
This is likely to encourage the strategy, not likely, it is definitely to encourage the strategy of starting the guillotine submission right away. You, they, they, we want you to, once you lock in a guillotine, jump guard. And if you don't jump guard, you're going to lose it. Because once you get it, right, this takes energy to try to hold him in this position. If you want to finish it, you can finish it. But if you are, if you want to just stand there and hold them in the guillotine all day long, you're the one that's going to uh, lose short-term stamina, and and then you lose the position. So you get that guillotine, jump guard, take that risk. Take that risk. Um, unless you're close enough to the cage quickly to walk up to it. Uh, starting a submission by reaching the cage results in a slightly stronger entry. That's correct. Um, right there, this is a big problem that a lot of people were complaining about. I've said this, I've said this before. Thanks to somebody at EA that shall not be named, they decided that it was a great idea to give everybody the ability to spin, which is just like some decisions, man. Just has you genuinely wondering what they were thinking when they made it. But, you know, we'll just leave it at that. Um, but right there, they've decreased how frequently the AI spins and uses spinning strikes, which is good. Thank you for that, because it was getting absolutely absurd. Every single fighter, regardless of their their style, whether it's a wrestler or or uh, a jujitsu guy, they were all performing spins. Freaking Mike Tyson! You go to use Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson spinning all over the place. That's definitely not what we want. So they've they fixed that, which is pretty good. Um, they fixed an issue that caused the lead hook to the rear leg combo to be slow. Um, the combo should now have a reasonable speed. Yes. So if you guys, you guys will notice that when you were trying to throw, say, like a jab um, rear leg kick, the regular leg kick, not the, not, not the calf kick, it was ridiculously slow. Or if you try to do the combination, the jab lead hook into the rear leg kick, you notice the leg kick came out ridiculously slow and that was causing major problems. You were getting caught with combinations as you were trying to chain combos with leg kicks like you could before. But um, so now they fixed that. So it's the speed is going to be reasonable. It's going to be normal like it's supposed to be. So kudos to that. That's definitely going to buff the kickers, which is pretty much what we need at this point because the game is very, it's very punch heavy. It's very boxer heavy. Um, they've reduced the range of major lunging punches. So those major lunging punches where you, you flick the stick forward and you input a punch, um, it definitely had a lot of range. The range was unrealistic. It just made no sense. Fighters would just freaking teleport from one end of the octagon to the other. They've reduced the range of those. They said all four of these major lunge and punches now have less range. Jab, straight, lead hook, and rear hook. These used to have the same range as when you performed them sprinting. But from a major, a major lunge, such range looked exaggerated and made the moves look way too fast. That's correct. They should now behave in a much more authentic manner. The sprinting version of these strikes was not nerfed. Okay, that's that's fine by me. I don't mind it. Um, right there, uh, prevented the flying knee from the submissive fighter in kick catches to be used when the attacker is throwing certain strikes. Um, this is a very interesting one to me because I it wasn't on my radar at all, but I'm glad that they're doing something about it. They said it was possible to throw the flying knee in situations that didn't make sense, which led to some janky on, and unfair interactions. The submissive fighter can no longer throw a flying knee when it doesn't make sense, most notably when the dominant fighter is kicking and already letting go of the submissive fighter's leg. Very good. So when you catch a kick and you're moving them back and you're trying to kick their legs off, a lot of times they will freaking jump in the air and catch you with a with a flying knee, and it just made no sense. So they're fixing that. Um, so as you look at this right here, um, the biggest change right here, the two biggest changes right here that will definitely have an impact on gameplay is going to be this one right here that increases long-term stamina cost of strikes and stand-up, and this change right here this change to vulnerability um things are going to be working as intended right now in terms of vulnerability unless by some freaking randomness uh another bug pops up you know because that's just what happens right they do something they add something to the game and then freaking a bug pop pops up and then it looks like nothing was done right it, which is just the most frustrating thing in the whole entire world so hopefully things work as intended and all these bugs they found them they've ironed them out and you know they, they haven't released a patch with some weird bug that players are gonna have to freaking deal with in the next few days i'm just keeping my fingers crossed on that because that would be very frustrating um 
the jab nerfs as well is going to have some uh, it will have some impact on gameplay. Uh, you guys let me know what you what, what you think about that. I'm going to go in. I'm going to get a few matches and really test out this patch and uh, and see what happens right there. So there are definitely a few more things that needs to be done. They are aware of it. We, you know, the, the tracking, tracking issues where strikes are just heat-seeking missiles, right? It's you're trying to move your head and shots are tracking you too much. All of that stuff, all of these bugs none of that was intended for you for ufc5 and all of that is ruining every single thing they've done for defense it genuinely is ruining it so i'm just you know ea sometimes man you know they they, they take a hundred freaking years to get something done and i'm really hoping that they just pump out these patches just boom 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 because you know this game re released although in terms of like the 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 state that the game was on release i mean it's the best one on release yet i mean ufc4 was abysmal on release um so you know kudos to them on at least releasing ufc5 in a much better ver in a much better state than we've seen them do in the past but still you know a lot of a lot of a lot of these bugs in my opinion should not should not be in the game when people get it right all of this stuff should have already been ironed out before you actually put out the game for people to purchase um and it, it's frustrating it really is frustrating to me personally because like a lot of the a lot of these things i did not experience it when i was testing the game and then all of a sudden like what the hell like what the hell this this bug is right here that bug is right there and it's like jesus freaking christ man it's uh anyways um so again hopefully they 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 put out another patch as soon as possible to deal with all the tracking issues which is ruining the head movement you're trying to move your head and strikes are freaking tracking you regardless of where you where you move your head and it's just it's not right so they got to fix that um the takedown buffs i'm really looking forward to those just the grappling buffs in general really looking forward to that because right now bro you run into somebody that knows how to deny takedowns in the game's current state it can be ridiculously difficult to get anybody down to the ground and actually use the ground game um so that definitely needs to happen some of the changes that we talked about in regards to to, to body shots we need to see those maybe hold off on those just just so we can see how the stamina change actually affects the game so i would definitely hold off on that without like increasing the body the, the stamina drain on body shots because then it could all go overboard um Looking forward to some side control nerfs as well. Side control right now is absolutely busted. Regardless of how good you are, you can get held in side control, and it is crazy. So they ne they definitely need to do something about that. Um, and then just a bunch of other things um, that definitely needs to uh, be fixed in the game for, for this game to start feeling like it's supposed to feel. You know what I mean? But that's it, man. Um, kudos to them for releasing this. We will test out the patch and see how this actually affects gameplay. And I will let you guys know what I think. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have already played uh, with this patch, let me know in the comment section what you're thinking. Are you noticing any differences to stamina? Do you think they went overboard? Do you think they didn't go, uh, they didn't go enough? Let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out, boys.